In this video, we are going to show you how to use Google Classroom as a student and make the most out of some of its features. So how to get to Google Classroom is first you will go to Google and then on the top right you can access the cube and go to Google Classroom that way or type in classroom.google.com and it will show the classes that you are a part of. And right here from this menu, there is this awesome little button at the bottom that shows your work in your classes. So you can click on that and it will bring up all the assignments and pieces that you have in that class. It's everything that's been assigned to you and it'll show your grade at the top right if your teacher has grades in that class. And you can go through and see all of your assignments and click on them and access those assignments here, see any grades, and open anything that you need to work on. So you can even um, click on some filters and see what's assigned and what's already been graded and any missing work that you have. So that view my work option from the main classes page is a great feature as well as this to-do list. So the to-do list will show anything that you have upcoming in any of your classes. So it'll show things that are due soon and anything that's been assigned. And then you can also see what you've already done in your to-do list. There's also a button here that'll take you directly to your drive folder and it'll show you here anything that has a due date in the near future. Now we're in a class and you can see there's also that upcoming on the left. This is your stream where it'll show you any new assignments and any announcements. Now in classwork, there's also that view your work shortcut button. So you can click that and go to that same menu. And then on the left, you can filter by topic. So if you have a lot of assignments in your class, you can click on a topic and just see what is under that topic. So scrolling down, you can see anything that is gray is something you've already turned in and anything that has a bright color you still need to do. And then looking at the icon, you can see the clipboard is an assignment. The one that looks like a bookmark is a material. And then down at the bottom, you can see there's one with a question mark and that's a question. So we'll show what it looks like when you click on this and open up to answer the question. To type in your answer, it's in the top right corner and you can go ahead and answer that question and then click that turn in button below and that will record your response for that question. And then when that's done, it will turn gray because you've completed it. So now we'll look at different types of assignments. So if your teacher has attached something for you to complete like a Google Doc here, if you click on it to open it up, then there might be a turn in button in the top right when you are done. This will sometimes show up in a Google Doc um, for you to turn in if the teacher has attached it already to the assignment. Sometimes that turn in button might not always appear and so you might have to come back here to the assignment in Google Classroom and click that turn in button. The turn in button will always be in the assignment in Google Classroom if it's not in the Google Doc. So there's another type of assignment where your teacher may ask you to attach your own file. And so we're gonna open up what that will look like. If there's not a Google Doc or slide already attached in the top right, it will ask you to add or create. And you can click on that and upload your own document or file. And it can go to your drive and you can choose what file you want to attach to that assignment and then turn it in just like you would if a teacher had attached a document. You can also add a link to a website you have created or a shareable link to another document and then click that turn in button just like you normally would on any assignment. So you can always add or create any attachments and then you can unsubmit and resubmit if you need to edit um, or change anything to your assignments after you have turned them in. And so there's another feature that's really nice if your teacher has added a rubric 
to an assignment. It will show up right there below that assignment. And you can check that before, during an assignment. And then after the assignment, under view your work, you can open up that after the teacher has returned it to you with a grade and you can see that expanded rubric and see what the teacher graded you for the rubric score. And so it will be color coded with your score in that rubric. So before the assignment, you can see um, what you'll be graded on with the rubric and after you can see your actual grade attached to that assignment. Remember to check that view your work button in classwork. That's a great feature. And then you'll, you can have rubrics and grades attached to assignments and filter by topics in Google Classroom.